up everybody? Zach Willis, ZRX Fitness. We in the kitchen this morning. We live. So this morning what I want to talk about is a little bit of my morning routine as far as breakfast and my morning supplementation goes. I'm going to show you guys one thing that I eat typically on a daily. The only thing I really adjust is the quantities. Uh, it's very simple. It tastes good. And you can actually order at a lot of restaurants as well. So that way anytime you're out with your friends, you're having brunch, you can order a quick, healthy, great, delicious meal option that won't steer you away from your goals. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna show you the couple things I do before I do anything else. Um, when I start cooking, I uh, take some apple cider vinegar and I actually pour up a shot of it. I do this always 20 to 30 minutes before I eat. What the apple cider vinegar does is it's great, it, it actually ignites the fat burning process in the body. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this up. As uh, one of my homies would say in college, over the lips, through the gums, watch our stomach, here it comes. Woo! That'll put some hair on your chest. Jesus. Woo! Sorry. So for breakfast, we're gonna do an egg white omelet with grits. Very simple. Right now I'm eating five egg whites and one whole egg and I've got some vegetables I'm going to cut up, some spinach, a little bit of cheese. Very simple. Gets me going for the day. So we're going to get red peppers, yellow peppers, green peppers, and orange peppers. Actually I'm going to go ahead and start the stove, get that warmed up. Spray it with a little non-stick. So while that's warming up, I'm gonna cut up my peppers. Don't judge my knife skills, y'all. I ain't go to school to cook. I just kinda pick it up because I like to eat. So if you guys follow me on social media, then you already know um, what I eat every morning because I try and post as much of that as I can. It's CRX Fitness on IG, Snapchat, and Facebook is Zach Willis. If you don't follow, go do that now. Drop it right here. Alright, so I got my peppers cooked up. Cut up, look, just. up a little bit. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'll save the chives until it's actually, uh, until I put it in the eggs. Some seasoning salt. And that's it. I'm going to just let these cook. And one thing I forgot that I normally put in here is onions. I'm actually quite upset that I forgot that right now. That's it. Typically, I'll do either grits or oatmeal, but grits has less sodium, so right now I'm doing grits. Key thing is, I add spinach into my omelets, I add many vegetables because if you can add more vegetables to your proteins, you're gonna feel fuller throughout the day. And also, spinach has inflammatory attributes, so it's gonna help your stomach actually get slimmer, or so they say. All right, so while my vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my cheese. I'm gonna do 28 grams of mozzarella cheese, reduced fat. Hopefully I got enough for 28 grams. You're like, oh, you can put cheese on your omelet? Very sparing. Uh, it's at 27 grams right now. Put it at 28, uh, that's 29, oh, 28, good. So yeah, very, very sparingly. As you can see, that's gonna be a fat source. And that's also why I put one whole egg in to get the healthy fats as well as getting the nutrients from that egg. But obviously the yellows have the bulk of the calories and egg whites and we just want the clean lean protein. Alright, so I'm going to set this cheese to the side. I'm going to grab my plate, drop these vegetables on the plate. I'm gonna 
actually wipe this pan off. separating your yellows from the yolk, then you may want to do it, crack it all in a bowl and pull out the yolks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, uh, the first whole leg. So that way I can um, go ahead and break that down. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this yolk. Make sure you got it on low. That's one egg. So now I'm going to turn the oven up just a little bit. I'm going to make sure that I have egg covering the entire pan so there's no holes or gaps. Make sure this gets all down, turn it up. Let it simmer and I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of seasoning. I got some black pepper right here. A little bit of seasoning salt. and I'm gonna show you the next supplement that I take every morning. Check this out, it's called Yakult. It's technically not a supplement, but what is a probiotic drink? I drink it every morning, we, I eat a shit ton of protein, so this kinda helps keep everything flowing, keep everything flowing, and obviously, the more weight you drop, literally, the more weight you drop on the scale, so. You know, turning this up right here. And this actually tastes good, unlike that apple cider vinegar, which is, Damn near like eating a sour and rotten apple, so cheers. Leave one yolk for the nutrients in the yolk and the healthy fats. Um, the majority of it's always egg whites because the majority of the calories in the egg come from the yolks. However, there's a lot of good vitamins in the egg yolks as well as healthy fats. That's why I always try and put one egg yolk into my omelet. So we're almost getting it to the point where we can flip it. Also drink coffee every morning, so go ahead and set this up. Cure. Best investment ever made. Get my coffee daily and shit. During the last couple weeks of prep, I'll probably go do a good two, three cups of coffee a day. Oh yeah, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna try it. Flip didn't work as good as I wanted it, but it still worked out. So now that I got my omelet flipped, I can go ahead and start putting in my fillings. So I'm gonna add, and you can do this any way you want, obviously, but I like to just mix it up. So I'm gonna add half my peppers, put a little cheese, then I'm gonna And 
I'm gonna add a little bit of these freeze dried chives. And I'll go ahead and add the rest of my cheese. So this. This over like so. You don't want any spinach? Oh yeah. Almost forgot my spinach. Another good thing to add to this is jalapenos. Jalapenos are great. So I'm gonna let that cook. So we just got one pack of Quaker Oats Original Grits. Pop this in here. Ask for a half a cup of water. packs of stevia in here and then yeah I ain't gonna lie I'm a sweet grits type person so I'm gonna put one pack of stevia in my grits and I'll cut the creamer out typically like three weeks out I'll cut out the creamer and the stevia now one thing I do want you guys to take note of because there is times when I use equal there are times when I use equal or an actual artificial sweetener instead of sugar take note that those bloat you out. So anything with artificial sugar in it, any uh, sugar-free gum that's got those artificial sweeteners in it, those will bloat you out. So I do uh, cut that out probably about three weeks out. Now, obviously, if you're just the average person trying to live a better, healthy lifestyle, you're not gonna notice it because it's very subtle. However, when you're sitting at about six to seven percent body fat, you notice that all of a sudden you feel a little bit bloated. So definitely keep that in mind. Three weeks out, cut it out. So. Also got this, uh, shit, I should have opened this before, but uh, I got this butter spray. And just like the stevia and others, everybody has their opinion on it. My thing is, once again, it's a lot worse shit you can eat. So, yeah, boy, just like Big Mama made. Big Mama grits. Stir this up. Now I want to get into a little bit of my morning supplementation. We got a few different things over here that are very important to me every morning. So first things first, as soon as I wake up every single morning, the first thing I grab is some BCAs. I grab take two of these with a glass of water. And what it is, is kind of like Honey Rambai called it the anabolic armor. It's basically you want to make sure your BCAs are protecting your muscles because from the time you wake up, your body's fasting. And if you know this, I go do fasted cardio. So by the time I eat, it's actually anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half from the point that I actually wake up. So what I want my body to do, I want it to burn body fat, but not burn muscle. So in order to protect my muscle and make sure that my body burns fat and not muscle, I take BCAs first, first thing first as soon as I wake up. And I already took these, so I'm not gonna take them right now. Another thing I get, I get some fish oil, just helps joint mobility. I'll grab two of these. I got my vitamins, so I got vitamin C. Definitely helps cardiovascular activity, and it's an antioxidant. So then on to this, so this is called Green Vibrance. What it is, it's a probiotic superfood. So if you're not eating a lot of vegetables or you need more vegetables in your diet, this helps you get them in right here. So I try and take this every morning. Helps keep you fluid as well. 
They say it tastes like fruits and greens. They say it's pineapple orange, but this shit does not taste like pineapple orange. It's not the tastiest thing, so just watch out. Drop a scoop in there. And then this is glutamine right here, so I always added some extra glutamine with it. And glutamine is another amino acid. What it does is just supports muscle covering. It uh, supports muscle endurance. It helps prevent muscle being burned during any type of activity, but I mostly take it for the recovery aspects. Like right now, I'm still sore, so this helps kind of take care of all of that. So I'm gonna get this in my system, and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna feast. Also, I know I told everybody, when I get under 195, I'm going to go get an eye watch, because that's something I really want. So currently I am, um, we'll call it 207 pounds. Mind you, I have to be under 170 by November. So that's 11 weeks to be under 170 pounds. So I need to get under 195 probably within the next week and a half. Once I hit under 195, I'm gonna get my eye watch. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm eat. You know, as usual, like, share, subscribe, follow the boy, SDR Fitness, love life, and lift heavy. Let's go.